Welcome back to our Apache Hoodie course. In today's video, we are going to dive deep into Apache Hoodie's uh, core concepts by exploring two fundamental table types, copy on write, also called as COW, and merge on read, also called as more tables. Understanding these tables is crucial for anyone working with Hoodie or in general who's trying to get started with transactional data lakes. So first, let's talk about copy on write tables, also called as COW. These tables are designed for scenarios where data immutability and versionings are paramount. Imagine a cow table as a repository where data is meticulously preserved. When you write new data into a cow table, instead of overwriting the existing data, Hoodie creates a new version. These version history ensures that you have access to all the past version of your data which is incredibly useful for tasks like auditing and compliance. So in short, in cow tables or COW tables, whenever you are doing any inserts, inserts are derived into a new parquet or a base file. Anytime you make an update, Hoodie will first locate the file group or the file where the element is. Then it's going to read the data, update the element and create a newer version of that parquet file. Hopefully that makes sense. Now let's explore MOR table also called as merge on read. Merge on read MOR was the second storage table type created for Hoodie to reduce the write amplification in cow tables with heavy updates. Rather than rewriting the entire file, MOR writes the updates into a separate changelog files. Then these changelogs are merged into a new file version at a later time configured by the user. Grouping these smaller changelog files together avoids rewriting the entire file multiple times. Now let's compare the COW and MOR table types. When should you use a cow versus when should you use a MOR table? Let's compare the first thing that is the write cost. In COW, the write cost is higher, meaning anytime you have a lot of updates coming, Hoodie has to create newer parquet files or newer uh, versions of it, right? Versus in more table, what happens is these updates are stored into a log file and they are compacted at a later time. Write latency is higher in COW. Write latency is lower in MOR tables. Query speed is pretty fast for cow tables, but in more tables, it is slower before compaction. Once the compaction happens, the query speed is, you know, the same, right? Hopefully that makes sense. Thank you so much for watching and now what I want to say is with each particular topic or video, this is part two, uh, for COW and MOR table, I'm going to be listing three blog posts. These blog posts are by One House, by Siva Bala Narayan and Walmart Global Tech on Medium. These three blogs are fantastic. They explain COW and MOR table. So by reading these blogs, your concepts will be even more uh, robust, right? Now, if you have any further questions on COW or MOR, you can post them in the comment uh, section below and I will try my best to get back to you. Make sure to check the resource section uh, in the description, which will have all these links. So you can go ahead and read uh, further if needed. With that being said, thank you. And I'm going to be seeing you in part number three.